Hey guys, good evening. It's Gunrider7271. I'd like to talk tonight about some things that I use for or will be using for area denial and perimeter defense. We'll start with area denial. If you have a road that you want to keep motorized vehicles off of and it's treaded or it's not treaded, such as cars, four wheel drives, ATVs, these are jack rocks. No matter which way you throw these on the ground, they're always pointing up. They're specifically designed to shred tires. Um, they have a hole in them. They have the hole in them. And what I do is I take about, oh I don't know, two dozen of these and I take some 550 paracord and I loop through and tie these all together so that they're all standing up on a string. Now the reason I put a, a rope or a string through them is so that when I want to use that particular trail or road I can pull them out of the way and redeploy them as soon as I'm across that that uh, that road, that area of the road. So what I would do is uh, in my situation I would probably put some of these out on the uh, the mouth of our cul-de-sac or the, the mouth of our street to a main street to keep any type of vehicle from coming down the street. I can tell you that this same thing can be made a lot cheaper. These are these are factory made but uh, these same things can be made for a lot on the cheap by cutting off two inch angle iron welding the two inch angle iron pieces together you'll find that you end up with the same thing and uh, I tell you they're truly effective uh, you may have to do a lot more work I mean you know these are store bought so the other thing I use for perimeter defense I said call first well the reason this is a, a call first situation is these are uh, perimeter defense mechanisms and all they do is alert you to the presence of uh, intruders you would take it has two holes on it you would take those two holes and nail it to a tree you take your 12 gauge shotgun shell when the pin is pulled when this plate is pulled out the firing pin has a high tension spring in it the striker hits the primer the primer detonates the shotgun shell, a blank shotgun shell, and um, you know to hook this up to another tree. Obviously, I wouldn't have all this cheesy stuff on it. It would just be basically this. I hooked that up with uh, 80 pound Power Pro Spectra fishing line. It's a braided fishing line. Let's talk about the line you use is very important. Um, if you use anything other than Spectra, the monofilament tends to, well first of all, uh, fluorocarbon is way too expensive and it tends to throw off a glare if the sunlight hits it. Same thing with monofilament and even the sunlight can destroy it so it may not have the same properties. Don't put this low on the ground you're not trying to trip anyone you want the body of the person to set it off in other words you don't want a, the local dog to set it off and give you a false alarm you want a person to set it off and give you a warning um, other than that you know if something sets it off and it's above three feet I would suggest that uh, it's probably a large game animal if it's not a human so um, I would deploy these on my on my south or on my eastern tree line and throughout the tree line just to make sure that we don't have any unwelcome guests. Um, you know, you could even if you had some outdoor lighting, the kind of come up on the post, you could put these up your drive so that uh, you have some sort of warning that that uh, they're coming. So um, this covers perimeter um, minding your perimeter and this covers area denial um, there are many other things that you can use as far as defenses goes um, passive 
you know there's seismic intrusion systems that are out there I'm not sure how sensitive they're they are um, obviously there are surveillance cameras you know these don't require batteries <laughs> and they're weatherproof <laughs> they don't require any batteries and they're weatherproof um, all that other stuff requires batteries and you know if you don't have batteries you don't have a decent system so these are available from Highvale uh, they're in Delta Utah I have I don't know probably a dozen of these um, I highly recommend calling Highvale and placing an order uh, the guy is the ex-army colonel um, I want to say his name is Tony Treza I've dealt with him for years uh, about 20 years he also has a whole sort of other stuff that may be useful to you so um, this is just one thing that I use to help me out um, hopefully you'll do the same hey thanks you guys have a good evening stay prepped